good afternoon. Ryan Pomerlia, Pioneer Field Agronomist here. Um, we're out here today in the soybean field doing a little bit of scouting and one of the things we've ran into today is frog eye leaf spot. It's probably one of the com most common soybean fo or foliar or leaf diseases that we get here in the Northeast. Um, not something that we're not used to seeing, but something that definitely when we see it, it catches our attention. So frog eye is a disease that likes humid, warm conditions and a thick canopy cover. It loves to be kind of swallowed up by beans. So typically we see it R1 through R6 is when we'll see it start to appear um, in our soybean, soybean crops here. There's a couple different ways we manage it. First one within Pioneer, we score all of our soybean varieties one through nine on frog eye resistance. Uh, so that's the first thing we do to kind of look at variety susceptibility, susceptibility and tolerance. The second thing we do with frog eye here um, is we spray fungicides, right? We've proven in the past two or three years that fungicides in soybeans tend to pay more than they don't. Um, so we tend to try to lean on that R3 application of at least a two mode of action fungicide product. Um, and the reason that we're really stressing two mode of action, or in some cases and more cases and not a third mode of action in our fungicides, is we do have some strobilurin resistance popping up across North America and in the Eastern Corn Belt here. So we've been re relying on strobilurins a lot through a lot of different crops when it comes to fungicides and we've actually built up some frog eye resistance um, to strobilurins. So when we're managing on the fungicide thing, always make sure you have at least a strobe and a triazole, um, and then maybe an SDHI component to your fungicides too. With frog eye, um, it's gonna be kind of a white, grayish, um, small dot on a leaf is how it's gonna start, and then it'll expand from there. On the outside of that dot, you'll actually see a reddish to brown lesion. Um, Sometimes frog eye be, can be confused with some um, application patterns or application droplets on a leaf. The way to differentiate that is actually look for that reddish brown lesion on the outside and that'll key in to frog eye too. So usually it's only found on the leaf. In some severe cases where it's not managed or we see a susceptible variety planted, it can move to the stems and to the pods. But for us here, typically we find it on the leaf and some of our fun fungicides do a very good job of cleaning it up. So it can overwinter um, for a couple years in debris and it can also be a seed borne disease, um, believe it or not. But in overwintering, if you know you have a field that is susceptible or, or has a history of frog eye, make sure you're choosing varieties that have good resistance. Um, make sure you're scouting earlier, early around that R1 stage through probably R4 to R5 um, on those wet, humid years or under irrigation where you know you're gonna have those conditions because chances are you're probably gonna see frog eye in your soybeans, so thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.